Hi Capricorn, welcome to your spiritual energy reading for the month of August. We've had some really fun, interesting energies, also some heavy energies. Let's see what the Spirit has for you for the month of August. At your center, we have judgment. Crossing or supporting, we have the Four of Wands. At your foundation, we have the Ace of Swords. I love that. In your past, you have the Nine of Pentacles. The forefront, you've got the Four of Cups. And the Fool is the near future. Yay. I, I like this because I'll tell you what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like you're kind of wishy-washy. <laughs> Interesting. Um, right now. But I feel like this is setting out on the appropriate path, finally, after kind of a time of not knowing what to do. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Well, right away, I'm going to say this is looking for your purpose. Um, I definitely feel like you are asking about your purpose or asking for favor, asking, inquiring something of the spirit and or somebody in the place of authority in your life, asking for something very much. And asking and inquiring for something sometimes is not a good energy. Um, Don't get me wrong. It's often very necessary, okay? But sometimes it, it's not the best energy for you, for a person to be in lack and so inquiring for something from somebody else, okay? Do you see the feeling that I'm getting there? Now, on this hand, this is crossing or supporting you. Um, Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. So this is what I'm going to say. Your foundation, okay, a four means your foundation, like what you, your house, your home life, your, even your childhood um, has put you in a certain position almost that you are now asking and inquiring, okay? It's like almost forced your hand that you feel as if you're lacking. You know what I feel like this is? Um... There's something that you feel is lacking in your character, which is causing you to be asking and inquiring, okay? I think you think this is an internal flaw of yours. And, and so you think that you can't do it yourself. All of that, all of that is what the spirit was trying to get out. Um, I feel like you think you can't do this yourself. And it's because you think almost like your upbringing or your past experience has put you in a place where how would you know how to do this? Like it wasn't substantial enough to make you able to, to have enough wisdom or experience in how to do this. And so you are inquiring of support from other people. Okay. And that's not a bad thing. And if that is true, what I, in your reality, I, I want to tell you, you do have a foundation. Let's look at the foundation card. There it is. Okay, good. I, I knew it had to be a good card um, in order to fit with what was coming out. You do do have a foundation. Your foundation in this world is not the foundation of your character. 
Your foundation comes from a truer truth. Your foundation comes from the source of life, the source, the universe, the source of who you are comes from there. So if you want to look back at your childhood, that's an illusion that is distracting you and making you feel less worthy. Well, what if I told you that your foundation is the most powerful source in the universe? Now you have no excuses. You have nothing to ask for and you are lacking nothing. Okay. So this is a truth that we need to stand upon. This is the truth that we need to stand upon. Boy, is that going to take courage? Because if that is true, and it is, it means you can do anything in this world. Okay. Courage is what you will need. And I do feel like that's also in your foundation. It's in your past too. Hmm. This is independence. Okay. Not codependency, which is almost a little bit of what I feel with these cards in the center, a little bit of codependency. Okay. In your past, there was, um, independence. The spirit just said to me, um, the lion King, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Simba, you are the son of a king. You are the daughter of a king. Okay. Remember that it's in your past. I think on some level, you know, that it's remembering that Capricorn. Okay. So this is always to me, the universe handing you an opportunity, which is an open door. Um, it's at the forefront of your mind. I almost feel like that's what you're asking for an open door. And I feel like the universe is handing it to you. It is. <laughs> it's just that you are not looking in the right place. That's always hard. Okay. It, but it's so very, very true. When one door closes, another one opens there. It's that's, it's a universal truth. Okay. Very, very much so. So if, if you're feeling lack in an area, move your concentration and your focus to the open door. Let's see if we can get a hint about how to do that. Okay. So you, first of all, know that there is an open door sitting somewhere around you in your environment. We're going to try to pinpoint where that open door is. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen the zero there like that before, but it's really popping up to me. So I'm going to say the open door is right here. It totally makes sense. This is the open door. The opportunity, it means open door and it's at the forefront of your mind. Forefront is your forehead. Okay. So the first thing you think of when I speak this to you is your open door. The first thing that comes to mind. Okay. It's in the forefront. It's right in front of you. It's right in front of you, this open door. I don't think the universe is making it difficult. Okay. The fool. Um, let's just say this. The idea is to take one step forward, regardless that you don't see that the door is open. I feel like when you take the step forward, you are crossing over the threshold of the open door.
I th literally think that's all you need to do is take one step forward. Okay? It's about being independent again and believing in your power and strength and your foundation. Believing in the foundation. Okay? The house around you is not going to crumble. Okay. So let's get a key card. This card is going to give us direction on how to accomplish these things in the month of August. I, I really don't feel you moving um, until the end of the month, okay? I think that's important, the end of the month. Okay, so full moon. So this is how it's good. I see it playing out this month. At the full moon, I feel like the idea, the opportunity, the open door comes. Like you see what that vision would be for yourself. Um, because the full moon shines a light on things, okay? I see you stepping forward into it at the end of the month. Okay, so full moon is like shining a light on the open door. You finally start to see it, picture it in your mind and know what it is. It starts to take form in your mind, okay? End of the month, walking in through it, walking through that door, open door. Okay, that is it. Please do subscribe and I will see you... Friday for the collective reading. We'll check in with you mid-August to see how you're doing on your opportunity. See you then. Thanks for watching.